Maxi Priest is getting ready to release his latest album. This on the heels of a much talked about appearance at a virtual 2020 installment of Reggae Sumfest. The Reggae Soul Priest brings to our stage right now a cut from the new album. Maxi Priest, sir, welcome. Welcome, I mean, it's, it's awesome to be here, awesome. <laughs> yes, you should be on set. You're in Jamaica, you know, the world knows this, <laughs> that you're in <laughs> Jamaica enjoying yourself on the other side of Jamaica, where the tourists, yes. where tourists go. <laughs> <laughs> That's all over Jamaica, come on. That's oh, yeah. all over Jamaica. Okay, so, yes. so, so first of all, sir, congrats on your performance at Reggae Sun Fest. Thank you so much. And I want to thank everybody else who, who supported the vibe. I mean, you know, the, the, the response that I uh, saw afterwards um, was just overwhelming. I mean, amazing, amazing. Oh, yes, it was absolutely well received and we enjoyed every minute of it, my friend. Thank you, sir. OK, so the whole world was watching. All the fans around the world from Axe Priest were there watching and the reviews have been excellent. No, sir. Did you do any song from the album, by the way? I know it was a very no, short we, 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 No, we, did, we didn't do any of the uh, tracks from this new album. Um, this is a, a brand new album uh, that I've had the honor and the privilege to work with the legend, mm -hmm. the true legend, Mr. Robin Trower, and also uh, a very good friend of mine, for many, many years that I've uh, worked with on so many projects, yes. uh, producer, producer, writer, and musician, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Livingston Brown. United State of Mind. Yes, explain that. Three, three different minds coming together, trying to create a unification that we can give as a gift to the world. You understand? Remember, Robin Trower come from a different kind of culture. Mm -hmm. Livingston come from a different kind of area. I come from a different kind of area. But we all have an ability of understanding uh, when it comes to music. So, and also a state of mind. Yes. Because we wanted to come together to do something positive. The album is how many tracks? Nine tracks. Nine okay. tracks. All of, I am all of nine. overwhelmed with this um, with this album. Um, I feel so proud about it. Um, you know, it's, it's a live, all live yes. uh, instrumentation mm -hmm. on this album. There is no um, machinery, as in drum machine or anything oh, like cool. that. Full, fully organic music. Oh, uh, very, very organic. This mm. album is for music lovers. Nobody who is going to um, sit down there and kind of go, I only listen to this genre of music or this type of music or, you know, it's, it's really for people who love and appreciate the art and, and love music in, in all uh, formats and, and different genres of music. All right, so pause for a minute, Maxi, and let's take a song from the album. 5 a.m. in the morning Rave was getting me down Had to stop the world from spinning Spinning round I don't need no company Horizon be my friend my wildest thoughts I'd follow to the end On a lonely highway This world is mine On a lonely highway This United State of mine State of mine
so you're reaching just the fullness of your music because you're you're a we call it a reggae soul priest. That's my name. <laughs> okay, but your your genre I, I isn't. I accept it. Your your uh, good. Your genre isn't limited to no reggae. You're all over when it comes to genres. You're wide open, aren't you? Yeah, yeah that's true. But but um, there are still situations where um, you know you sign to a major record company. Even with the last album mm -hmm. before this that I did with um, Shaggy, my good friend, Mr. Bombastic, um, uh, it all comes back to love. You know, yes. we did this album for uh, BMG uh, Records. And you, you know, you still have to kind of go through an explanation uh, as to where you're coming from where it is that you're trying to go, mm -hmm. uh, the, okay. the, the, the groove of the music, the sentiment, the, mm -hmm. the, um, <laughs> the genre of the music and, and, and still try to explain to people how to market this thing in this day and age, which is, it's, it's really kind of heartbreaking because I have so much appreciation for the art of um, singing mm -hmm. as well as uh, musicianship that I speak on behalf of many musicians that we don't want to be um, trapped okay. in, a, in, in a cage. You know, um, there's so much more to all of us, even, even yourself. You know, you, I'm sure you grew up in gospel, mm -hmm. uh, listen to country western on, oh, a, yes. on a weekend. You, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm sure you appreciate a lot of the R&B, the, the, the Motown, mm -hmm. and then of course your, your, your Cox and your, your Studio One, your Trojan, and, and your Burning Spear, and, and the list goes on. Yes. You know, even, even Toots, Toots and the Mertels. And, oh, and, yes. And, you know, and I would, I would like to mention so many more um, veterans that, that paved the way for, pe for people like myself. But, you know, in a nutshell, we love all and we appreciate all different types Absolutely. of music. Because Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, and, and, it's, it, and it's sad when people try to pigeonhole us into yes. something. Because to me, that um, suppresses us mm -hmm. and it holds us back. And, and, it, and it doesn't allow us to grow as, as, as people. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and that to me is just part of that thing, that horrible thing that tries to keep us as some second class or second rate people. Yes. Ah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because we are yeah. rich in what we consume. The soundtrack of our lives, we Jamaicans, wherever we are in the world, we are wide open to all kinds of music. And, and so you're expressing what you consume, aren't you? You have exactly. to. Exactly, exactly. You know, you know I, I, I remember when I look back as a kid, um, I used to listen to a lot of musicals. Um, and my brothers and sisters of nine, you know, would say, you know, could we turn it over? You know, could we watch something else? You know, some cowboy movie or some mm -hmm. sports or something. Yeah. Not that I wasn't into that too, but, I, it's, it's now that I look back on it and I think to myself, boy, as a kid, I, was, I just wanted to understand how Frank Sinatra would deliver his song, how Dean Martin would deliver his song, how Sammy Davis mm -hmm. Jr. would deliver his song, how Elvis Presley then would deliver the, 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 the song or the subject of whatever they were talking about or, or singing about. And um, my appreciation for that allows me to have an appreciation for very much the art and the skill of singing. That's why somebody like Dennis Brown is, you know, one of, one of my top oh, yeah. icons of, of uh, singing, because obviously he would come from uh, very much the same kind of background that I would come from. Mm -hmm. And um, being able to talk with him and travel and, and, and tour the world with him, you know, he would express to me, you know, Max, you know, he, he has, I have such an appreciation for the art. Mm -hmm. and, and how he would explain to me how he used to listen to a lot of Otis Redding and people like that. And um, 
and somewhat just uh, ab absorb and appreciate all of those to, to be able to express what it was that he had inside of him. Mm -hmm. You know, and it wouldn't matter whether, whether somebody called it reggae or whether they call it ska at the time and remember them grew up with mentor and all these kind of things. So, and, and when, when somebody like that talks to you, you know, it just makes you feel like, yeah, you know, you, you're, you're somewhat on the right road because uh, there, there shouldn't oh be, yeah. you shouldn't be held back like that. You know, because for those of us who can sing, um, and, and, I, and, I don't, and I don't mean that everybody can't sing because everybody can sing. It's an emotion, you know, and it's an expression. But as a kid, you know, I had this thing where I could sing and, and, I, and I call it my friend because I could turn to it yes. at any given time. Mm. You know, whether, if I was sad, I could turn to my friend and I could be able to express myself, you know, and, and just let myself go. And, and if I was sad, I could get emotionally involved with my friend and express myself um, and, 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 get, and relieve myself of tension. And, to, you know? and so to what extent this time impact this album? This time of COVID, of, 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 of Black Lives Matter, of so much happening in the world right now. And it's funny you should say that because, um, you know, them say when one door closed, the other one is open. Yes. And, um, and of, obviously COVID has closed many a doors, especially for us as musicians. Mm -hmm. um, you know, our um, main source of living right now, um, touring has closed, but also at the same time, you know, um, other doors have opened pertaining to this album, for instance. This is an album that I've had for maybe about a year or so, you know, and we were always sitting down and talking about, you know, what angle, how do we release this? How do we present this? Um, what's the reaction going to be? Um, are people going to kind of understand? Because it's a turn. Mm -hmm. It is a turn. Yes. It's a turn in my life. You know what I'm saying? I am, I am fortunate that I have been supported over the years by the good people them, for me to kind of grow my art. Yes. And, and, and be able to kind of g g give them some, some, some life to be able to kind of say, all right, then I'm going to make a turn, you know, because I can make a turn. I'm not, I'm not just surviving on what I last did. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? So, and, and that I really truly appreciate, but So it's, a, it's comes, this new normal, you, you fit perfectly, Maxi. Your, relevan yeah, your the, relevance the, continues in this new normal, just the same yeah, as it yeah. was in- and, and, and the reason, and, and I, what I'm really trying to say is that it opened this door for people to listen again. Yes. Listen, because before the COVID, it's crazy because I was saying to my band and my musicians and, and um, my uh, management that I wanted to take a break because I've been on the road a long time, mm -hmm. year in, year out. I've been fortunate to continuously tour. But I was just saying to myself, and I kept saying to them, you know, I want to just take a break. And then, you know, you know, it's crazy because them always say, careful what you ask, but you just <laughs> might get it. <laughs> and they, here, here we are, bam, COVID. Yeah. And, and then um, uh, my train of thought was is that um, it opened the door for me to be able to present this type of album where people now are coming back to listening and not so much uh, mm -hmm. seeing music, they're listening to music, mm -hmm. you know? Because it was going fast. We were oh, going yes. like 100 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. And the music and the tempo of the music, so fast. You know, my, when, when Bob and, and Dennis and, and, and Fred McGregor and Greg Grice, when, when when they were rocking it, we wasn't so fast. Yeah. 
Do you know what I'm saying? You could feel the beat. You could feel the groove. You could feel the sentiment of a, of a vocal. Some of the li- some, you could understand the lyrics. This is why the great Bob Marley survives. Because you can understand one love, one heart. Let's get together and feel all right. It doesn't matter where you come oh, from. Yes. Whether you're Japanese, Chinese, French, it doesn't matter where you come from. And even if you don't get the word, the word incorrectly, as in what they may call English, mm-hmm. you sing it. There's a natural, you know what time of day it is. Oh, yeah. Because the rhythm, the rhythm is speaking back. to you as much as the lyrics. Exactly. So much more coming at you. Exactly, and, and, and also the culture yes. allows to grow. We allow the culture to grow because people identify it. This is why the world over speak about Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because of that heartbeat, that Rastaman vibration, that one love that we spread across the world. We open our arms to black, white, blue, pink, orange, African, Indian. And we tell Africa, say, Africa, you are valuable. Yes, absolutely. You are somebody. Yeah. You, you understand? It's we enlighten the world that we are black people of descendants of Africa. What's happening? I am... We, I am, who, we who had, have, so much to be angry about, so oh. much to hate people for, uh, to, to, to so hate Maxi, and we were speaking so much about yeah. love. And this is why, you know, I often say to artists, Reggie, you want to look to the world with your music, love is Come what on. got us here. We were Come speaking on. love for mankind, for Come humanity, on, of all race, of all creed. We didn't Come say on. for black people alone, we were speaking to every human person. We want them to be in that tent of yes. one love. You know what I mean? Yes. So we were not discriminating. Yes. So when the world looks at it and say, these Jamaicans who have been enslaved, who have been yes. through so much pain and suffering yes. and yes. abuse and, ca- and captivity, how can yes. they be speaking so, so much loving. love? Yes. And that yes. was captured their, their soul, everybody else. They had to, they yeah. had to give in to that. Because if these yeah. guys can talk so much of love, what yeah. about us? Yes, yes. And we, and we have to kind of, we, we need to think about that. And we need to come back to that. We need to rewind. God not sleep. Yes. He's not sleeping. This COVID is not a coincidence. There is a reason for this. Mm -hmm. There is a certain karma that is going on that uh, that is making us think. We need to think and we need to understand what we are doing because we have offspring. And we are trying to, if if we're going to guide these offspring, then we have to be careful what comes from one mouth. Yes. You understand? Because what cometh from your mouth, cometh from your heart. And that reflects to your offsprings. And then you're going to turn around and ask your offspring to go to university. It's confusing. Mm -hmm. It is confusing. We have to kind of, you know, straighten up the thing, Rasta. Until reggae music come back to the groundation of Rasta Far Eye. And that one love and that spiritual guidance. You know, I, I, have to, I don't even have a word to tell you more than until it comes back to that groundation. We, we have to really take responsibility for, for, for whatever road it's in or whatever painting that they are painting of it or us at this moment. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's us for rule with destiny. Absolutely. Not anybody else for rule with destiny. Yeah, man. You know, 
it, we're, we're us in this time now where everything is flaring up. You know, the, the racism has come back again. Oh, God, man. Mm -hmm. Again, we come back to that again. It's raising its ugly head again. You know what I'm saying? Because, in a sense, we're giving it a chance to come back again. Because when we continue the, tromp the trampling yes. of okay. it, yes. we gone somewhere else. Got distracted. We distracted. We caught up in, in frivolous things. Mm -hmm. You understand? We caught up in, in style and fashion. Mm -hmm. As my grandmother them would have said. Or my grandfather them would have said. And I'm, I don't have a problem with style and fashion. Man, if you look good. If you look good. If you correct yourself. Because, you know, that's the teaching. The teaching is like that. That's how we grow. But I'm saying don't get lost in it. Don't get lost in material gains. You understand? There's a greater responsibility for all of us. I myself as a father... I myself as an artist, I myself who has been blessed and, and fortunate for to, to be able to, to, to have a career that I have that has been, that has been um, blessed by the people because I couldn't be here if they were, if, if the people oh, yes. never support me. You understand? So I don't take that for, for simple and I don't take it for granted. You understand? I have a responsibility. I have a very serious responsibility. Because as I utter, if it's even 10 people, 10 people hear it. You, you, you understand? Those, so, so I they, have they, a responsibility. They, of course, the collective energies yes, of those man. who call themselves your fans, those who support your music and love your music, yes. see, that, coll that collective energy, Yes. There's not something they can take for, for granted or can, no, 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 or no. can be overridden or can be dismissed. That's power. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a can of beans. Yeah. You understand? I am a human being with an ability that needs a conscious and um, uh, support. You understand? And if, it doesn't, if, if it's not being supported by people, it's very difficult for it to survive. This is where we say, sir, that you are the sole man of reggae, the man of reggae soul, man. Maxi Priest, lots of soul in what you speak, in what you, you, you express on, in music, on, on any track you get on, we hear and feel soul, which is always a currency that no one resists. No matter what, we are going, no much distraction. The soul is always going to win. <laughs> Souls. It has to, it, it has to win. You of know, course. and that's, that's how I feel about this album here. It has so much soul. Mm. And you not, take the title, for instance, United State of Mind. Mm. You know, and, and this title here just yes. echoes across. Oh, yes. Perfect it echoes for all you've said. Situation. It is perfect, I didn't this hear you title. Could. Yeah, it, it, you know, for, for the time that we're in, it's like, think, think, think. Take some time to think. Think and listen. Because when, when, when we were younger as kids, we would listen to music. We would listen to the vibration. You have to understand, we are growing up, we are growing up in England. Mm -hmm. You understand? And everywhere we walk, them said, why? We don't belong here. You understand? Mm -hmm. But this music that come from Jamaica and come to my people level and through my people level, you understand, that give us a sense of belonging. Ah. I am somebody. Ah. Yes. You understand? I am somebody. If you don't want me, uh, me have a root. You understand? So I'm solid and, and I can walk with my head high. You understand? That means... I have a little strength. You, you, you understand? Oh, yes. and, 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 and those days, we listened. We listened to, to dread, not dread now. We listened to what them say. We listened to Big Youth them. We listened to, to Ken Boat them. We listened to, to John Walt them. 
because those men give us our energy and our strength. Toots, God rest him soul, King. Mm -hmm. Lion art. You know, um, when you think of um, burning spear, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, it, it, it is, it's, it's, to me, it, it, I, I talk to you and it's almost like me have tears in my eyes. Because it means that much to me. You understand? It means yeah, that much to me. I because it. It's coming across you know, that way, Maxi. It's, it, we feel the energy, Reggie. We feel... Oh, my God. Because, because you, you know, for, from your barn, you grow in a struggle. And the struggle is a weird kind of struggle. Because somebody will look at you and tell you, boy, because of the color of your skin, you know, belong yourself. Mm -hmm. Or because of the color of your skin, you don't belong. You, you, you don't have the right. You don't have the right. You understand? And, you know, the struggles with my parents, them, and others that come from, that pioneered from Jamaica to, to England. You, you remember, you know, enough of them have come from St. Elizabeth. They have come from Clarendon. They, they're coming from places where they, some of them never even went to city. Yes. They never even got to Kingston. But them brave and them take a chance. And they go to, to, to England and them set up. Don't know who, don't know what, don't know this. God bless the original man who come this as pioneers. Mm -hmm. for, for my parents, them now, to come and at least have a place to, to lay them head. And, and, and a camaraderie of people that... Here, make a start. Make a start. Man, the man, the man, the man, the man use the bed like you use the bed in the morning. The next one use the bed in the night because he must go work. Yes, you understand. So I'm coming. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a share the bed in a rasta. They must share the bed. Yeah, you understand. In a, the cold, cold winter of England, where we use a thing named paraffin heater, mm -hmm. which I try to kill we off anyway with with soot and smoke. You know, the, and, and, and that's why it touches my heart so much. You know, when, when you look on I Ride, You Ride, Prince Jasbo, all of these great pioneers, Alton Ellis, these were our, our, our prophets. You know, these were our strengths. These were the man them that give us life to to feel like we were somebody okay. and then and then we would we would then create out of that and build our own like a camaraderie so that we could walk in strength oh my you know it, it's, it's 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 real friend, it's not it's not it's not a plaything it's so real. well said my friend so well said and this message i hope is res and will i i have no doubt will resonate with youths across the world, not just it, it, in the it's Jamaican real. It's space, not, but the world. This is real. It's, so, it's not a plaything. So many people can relate yeah. to what you're saying right now. It's, a, it's not a plaything. It's real. It's yeah. not a plaything. Bob Marley was real. You know, Toots was real. Real. They are real people. You know, it, not because him come from Trenstone or, or some, some zinc fence place. These are real pioneers. These are real icons. You know what I'm saying? And we must respect that. It, it, it breaks my heart that Jamaica don't have a statue of Dennis Brown. Mm -hmm. I am I'm amazed. And I hope that the, the, the Prime Minister who is here today can listen and understand that we need to have a statue of Dennis yes. Brown. Dennis Brown is before Bob Marley. People don't even understand that. You understand? Even Bob Marley would have looked on Dennis and said, boy, am I a singer that? My artist, yes. Am my artist that? Jacob Miller. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it breaks my heart and it beats me. It, it blows my mind that we are building up downtown Kingston. 
And nobody not tell me so we don't have a statue of Dennis Brown downtown. Yes. What is going on? Him not do enough. <laughs> Has he not done enough? Right. Has our people have not done enough? Ah. You know, these are pioneers. These are the, the, the works that these men have done. You know, um, it might be difficult for generations of today to kind of really truly understand it. But, you know, man like yourself and many more others that have, that, that traveled and went abroad and understood um, the struggles and the tribulations that our folks went through over there to survive. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and the vibration that those men brought there for us, for those, for all of us, to stand firm and, and go through the struggle. You know, you know, these are disciples, Bridget. You know, they, they are disciples, you know. Jamaica I, I should celebrate you. them properly. We, sh we must, we have to, have to. It, it broke my heart, D. Brown, of all people, you know, from the age of, um, I think it's about 9, 10 he started. Mm -hmm. Was that a means star at whole, 13. Exactly. So it's so him whole life. Him whole life is for Jamaica. Mm -hmm. For his people. You understand? And, and we are not respectful enough to kind of say, boy, I, you know, I could put up a, a, a thing for the bro. You know, I could put up a thing for you. Because you, you, you would never meet a nicer person, you know. Oh, God. When Lee Brown see you, you know. And I know you know that. Oh, when Lee Brown preach, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> the world, no everything changes. When he walks huh? into a room, everything changes. Oh, but, my gosh. Yeah. Never a time when I meet Dennis that it would be anything different. Yeah. Nothing different, you know, and everywhere I travel. Love. One love. Oh, Always, my word. Yes. And, this, and these are the things. It's not, this is another thing where people don't understand. It's not only the music. It is the person. Yes. And the personality of the person that resonates mm. to others who may not be able to speak English yes. or understand Patois. I understand our culture, but the person comes. The person comes and gives us mm -hmm. a greeting that makes us feel like, man, this is, I want to be around this. I want to be around this. All right, so what can you tell us about when the album will, will be released? The album will be released uh, the 10th of October. Mm -hmm. um, um, I am so looking forward to that because we're going to do a streaming album launch. Okay. Which is gonna which is gonna be new. It's gonna be you know obviously you know we gotta work our way around around these situations. So um, we're gonna have about a hundred uh, to two hundred people. Okay. Streaming. We're gonna invite them into um, into the studio. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we, we will take, like, questions and answers and stuff like that. Okay. You know, so, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. October 10. Yes. Nine tracks. Yeah. Nine oh. tracks. Oh. And I'm so looking forward to it. I'm, 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 I'm really static with excitement because I've been doing a lot of interviews worldwide from here, Jamaica, um, talking to a lot of people okay. <laughs> um, and, and, and the vibration has been so awesome. Okay. I am so happy with it, honestly. I am so happy, I'm static. I can see that, sir. I yes, can see you're, you're very expressive too. <laughs> and we totally are appreciative of this chat you've, 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 you've brought us and, and so much that you've said here, Maxi. All right, my friend, thank you so much, Max. It's Looking always forward. an honor, King. 
You, yes. you know, says Alza, Anna, and a pleasure talking to die. Ah, See? Sir. Same and, place, and, and the, the respect is always there. All right. Well, we look Job forward to when you come at town. <laughs> yes, man. And come respect. to that studio. Bless you, love. All right. Job. All right, so there you have it right here in this segment Maxi Priest. I call him the soul man of reggae. Well, we look forward to when you come at town. <laughs> yes, man. And come Respect. to that studio. Bless you, love. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on our stage anywhere, anytime, always.